Ho ho ho! Welcome to Brumatures! It's winter and we've got winter beers for y'all. Today we have Sierra Nevada's Celebration Fresh Hop IPA. Ho 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 ho! Oh, Merry Christmas! You're just merry though. Celebration Fresh Hop IPA, Mary. We've been saving it for over a year. I don't like this beer. Well, why not? Because it tastes gross. Oh, 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 you just don't like IPAs. I do. What do you mean? This is a West Coast IPA. They brew every season just for me, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I remember tasting that last year not being too thrilled about it, but maybe I'm thinking of some other beer. To reiterate, this is a year old. Yeah, we're not supposed to drink year old IPAs. I found online, when I was looking over my naughty and nice list, people recommended aging. An IPA? Just this one. Out of the whole world, IPA. Just this one. This one. Wow. There is a counting date of November 12th, 2021, and I'm pretty excited. Me too. Well, that's enough talking. Let's get to drinking. It's time to ho open this beer. I can't believe you're doing that. Family owned, operated, and argued over. Did you say operated like hops? Operated. I don't even keep it if it said operated. This doesn't look good. And here is your beer, little girl. This looks like. Ugh. It smells like dish water. Dish water. Dish water. A lot of hops on the nose, man. Oh, 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 oh. It smells like dish water. Um, iced tea. <laughs> it smells like Rudolph's urine. This is what Rudolph's urine smells like? Fresh hops. Ew. Oh, oh, oh. No. Santa approves. No, I don't... It's too hoppy for me. It is very hoppy. And, God, I can't talk like this anymore. I was going to ask you I can't. when you're going to stop. I can't. Do you think Santa really sounds like that? Yeah, I just oh. talk to him all the time. Um, this beer has aged well. I mean, it still tastes hoppy like I remember it. Very bitter. If you do not like bitter, hoppy West Coast IPAs, this is not for you. This tastes like a bitter ice, like not an unsweetened iced tea for me. Yeah, I can see that. Gross. And it kind of looks like it too with that color. Um, but it's, it's still, I still think it's tasty. I remember getting, we had to buy like a 12 pack of this last year just to get one can. Yeah, I don't, it's too hoppy for me. It doesn't taste good. I don't want it anymore. Oh boy. <laughs> Do I dare even ask what you're gonna rate it? A one. A one. They tried. Are you serious, a one? Yeah. Wow. Okay. They tried. It's just so gross. <laughs> it's just, it tastes like there's no discerning flavor. Like, this could be any kind of IPA. It's a distinctive IPA. We haven't had one like this in a long time. Where it has this maltiness, this hoppiness, the bitterness. It's distinctive because it tastes like a bitter, hoppy IPA, but I've had other beers from other breweries that taste exactly like this. So yeah, it's distinctive that it's very hoppy, but it's not in that every single brewery can do this. It's nothing special. Okay, okay. Well, I want you to think about what percentage alcohol this is and while I read it. <sighs> I'm gonna give Celebration Fresh Hop IPA I would say probably two and a half Christmas lights out of five. <laughs> what color are they? They're alternating. They're all the colors. One red, one green. 
Blue, yellow, green, orange. What color are your two Red. Christmas lights for this beer? Oh, um, green, red, and then half of blue. Yeah, I don't, I, mm -mm. And yeah, alcohol percentage? Oh, um, let me taste it again. <laughs> I don't know, 5.9, 6, 5.9. The alcohol percentage is 6.8%, so if you have more than a few of these, you're probably going to start feeling it. You're not going to have more than a few of these because you're going to take one sip and be like, whoa. Some people really love the bitter flavor, but I did have a feeling this was going to be the least unique of the 12 beers we are going to review for the 12 days of Beer Miss. Mm -hmm. So on the first day of Beer Miss, my true love gave to me Sierra Nevada Celebration Fresh Hop IPA. <laughs> I love that song. Yeah. Um, but overall, it's decent. It's no. not nothing to write home about. I don't need no. to have this again next Christmas or anything. Um, it's got a cool can. I just wish the inside was a little bit better. Um, but I don't completely hate it like you. Also, I think that it doesn't fit the season. Like, it's supposed to be around this time Christmassy wintry it's a it doesn't fit the season yeah I think they're just trying to find a niche in the season a lot of people do stouts coming soon barley wine those heavier type beers higher alcohol percentage um, and then they're trying to do an IPA which some people like to drink year-round it's like trying to make fetch happen you can't just yeah. stop you're not gonna make it happen no just make stouts this time of year I'll be fine with that. There's a lot of stouts on the way, but before that, we got a few other beers to review. So all that's going to do for today's beer review. We hope you enjoyed it. This is just one of 12. Hopefully there's better beer in store. But until then, we're the Bermuders trying every beer from around the world. One, one sip, sip at a time. time.